नूर इज इट योर फर्स्ट क्लास विद मी नूर यू कैन यूज चैट रूम और यू कैन इवन मनी नो सर यू आर फ्रॉम बहरेन ना we have done this before you were in that uh, course on vectors okay minutes Okay, so we'll start with the first unit of NCERT. The first unit is physical world and measurement. And the very first unit, physical world and measurement. Physical world and measurement. so is it the first chapter a number unit measurement this unit number 1 will include two chapter this will include chapter number 1 and and chapter number 3 of it chapter number 1 it will include ncert chapter number chapter number this chapter number 1 and chapter number 2 we we'll divide this first unit into three chapters the first one is introduction to physics the first one is introduction to physics this introduction to physics is basically chapter number 1 of ncert it's basically ncert chapter number 1 or it's a very introductory chapter in this there's nothing in this chapter that I, i can teach you there's only the name of the scientist and the theory so i'm not considering chapter number 1 here the next is dimensional analysis if you want i can teach this at the end but there's no point in taking this chapter there's just a name of the scientist and name of the theory there's nothing which a teacher can help you the next is dimensional analysis <laughs> the next is error analysis and the fourth one is measurement of length mass and time fourth is measurement of length mass and time so these are the four chapters so these chapter number 2 to 3 are basically included in chapter number 2 of ncert so i'm not starting with introduction to physics i'm rather starting with dimensional analysis 
So start with dimensional analysis. This dimensional analysis starts with the concept of physical quantity. This starts with the physical quantity. the concept of physical quantity so physical quantity simply means quantities that can be measured whatever the quantity you can measure is a physical quantity like you can measure mass mass is a physical quantity you can measure time time is a physical quantity you can measure speed it's a physical quantity whatever the quantity which can be measured is a physical quantity so physical quantity simply means quantities that can be measured whatever that you can measure is a physical quantity so physical quantity simply means quantities that can be measured quantities that can be measured are known as physical quantity next we can divide for example like say speed is a physical quantity volume is a physical quantity energy is a physical quantity can i say that emotions are physical quantity no sir no, no sir. sir no sir no sir can't measure emotion so emotions cannot be considered as a physical quantity rather we can consider force as a physical quantity so quantities that can physical quantities so these are some examples of physical quantity speed volume energy force so just note it down let me know if you have any doubts in it fatma i just have started unit number 1 of ncert yes i know fatma sharif you have done vectors with me right you were there in that those lectures of vectors fatma sharif yes sir so what's your school school name fatma it was ibn al haytham islamic so shall you robert yes sir sir so just a moment yes. just a moment okay sir next we can divide these physical quantities into two categories we can further divide them as these are physical quantities you can further divide your physical quantities as scalar quantities of scale as fundamental as fundamental and derived so you can further divide your physical quantities as fundamental physical quantities and derived physical quantities fundamental physical quantities are those quantities like you can understand this fundamental and derived from a language Say if we talk about English, in every language there are some letters. Like in English, there are twenty-six letters A to Z. Each and every letter is fundamental in itself. It's fundamental in the sense if if I ask you to make B, 
can you combine all letters to derive b or is it fundamental is it possible to derive a letter fundamental no sir you cannot derive all letters right if you combine all letters from a to z even then a letter b so each and every letter is unique in itself each and every letter is fundamental in itself but after this letter in any language you come across any word like this physics is a fundamental letter or it can be derived derived so all derived are actually derived from these letters so just like language in language you have two basic structures some letters which are fundamental there are words sentences which are actually derived from these letters just like any language in physics we consider certain quantities as fundamental these fundamental quantities are just letters they are fixed quantities you can't derive one quantity from another these fundamental quantities are just like letters in any language then there are quantities which are known as derived quantities these derived quantities are actually derived from these letters in the same way as these words are derived from these letters so we can derive fundamental quantities fundamental quantities so fundamental quantities simply means quantities just like letters if i ask you to derive letters then letter simply means letters are alphabets or something which cannot be expressed in terms of other letters so the same way fundamental quantities means quantities which cannot be expressed which cannot be expressed in terms of express in terms of other physical quantities so fundamental quantities are simply quantities which cannot be expressed of other physical quantities in si system in si system we have seven so what have we written there in terms of other physical quantity in terms of other physical quantity other physical quantities in a si system we have seven fundamental physical quantities fundamental physical quantities so i assume that you people are aware of si and cgs unit so fazil what is the si yes, What is the SI unit of mass? Fazil. Fazil Shabazz. Kg. Kilogram. Yes, yeah, SI unit of mass is kilogram. What about the CGS unit? Uh, gram. Yes, SI unit of length. Yeah. Uh, meter. 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 CGS. Centimeter. Ah, uh, yes, yes. Centimeter. SI unit of force. Newton. Newton. Then what about CGS of force? Kg Newton. CGS unit of force. Dyne. Dyne, right? CGS unit is nine. CGS unit of force is nine. Sir, what is CGS? CGS means centimeter gram seconds. Basically, there are many systems for measuring units. The two major one are SI, International System of Unit, and another one is CGS, which is centimeter gram seconds. So when you use CGS, you measure mass in gram. you measure your length in centimeter and time is seconds but while you are using si you consider your mass in kilogram you consider your length in meter and time in seconds so these are two major systems for measuring units okay sir we concentrate only on si system so in si system you have seven fundamental physical quantities if you change system then number and the nature of physical quantity can change but right now we have to concentrate only on si system In the size system, we have seven physical quantities. Just note it down and let me know when you have written. Done, sir. Done, sir. Done, sir. Done, sir. Done, sir. Okay. So I'm rubbing it. Fine.
Okay. The next is, let's make list of all fundamental physical quantities. So this first column is for serial number. Second is for physical quantity. Then this is SI. So the first quantity is mass. We represent mass by capital M. The SI unit of mass is kg. After mass, the second quantity is length. We represent length by capital L. Its SI unit is meter. Third quantity is time. We represent time with capital T and the SI unit of time is seconds. Then after time, the next is temperature. The next is temperature. We should represent temperature by capital T, but this capital T is already reserved for time. So instead of capital T, we either use theta or K. For temperature, we use these two notations, either theta or K. And the SI unit of temperature is Kelvin. We represent Kelvin by a capital T. So this notation K comes from Kelvin. After temperature, the next quantity is electric current the next is electric current we can measure this electric current in ampere it's capital a the next quantity is luminous intensity the next is luminous intensity now you are aware with first five quantities you have used these first five quantities up to class 10 this luminous intensity is new quantity luminous intensity means intensity of light it's simply the intensity of light yes so if i give you a bulb of 100 watt and a bulb of 1000 watt so the intensity of light from that 1000 watt bulb is more than this 100 watt so that intensity of light is known as luminous intensity that we measure in candle the SI unit of luminous intensity is candle. Luminous intensity is simply the intensity of light. Then the next is amount of substance. The next is amount of substance. Yes. Small. Amount of substance we measure in mole. So one mole simply means one mole is 6.023 into 10 raised to the power 23. If I say one mole, uh, say one mole pen, one mole pen means this much of pen. If I'm saying say one mole atom, one mole atom means 6.023 into 10 raised to the power 23. Just like dozen, if I say dozen, dozen means 12. So this is standard quantity amount of substance which we measure in mole. These are seven fundamental quantities. Now after these seven fundamental quantities, there are two more quantities which are known as supplementary quantities. There are two more quantities which are known as supplementary quantities. Which are known as supplementary quantities. So see, these seven quantities are like letters of language. In English, you have 26 letters. In physics, you have seven quantities. All other hundreds of quantities can be expressed in terms of these seven quantities. In fact, entire syllabus of class 11 can be expressed in terms of this mass tangent type. That's it. No, Rashad, supplementary are not fundamental. Entire syllabus of class 11 can be expressed just in terms of mass tangent type. Now these supplementary quantities are basically those quantities. Uh, Shafak, luminous intensity is basically intensity of light. 
the light intensity that you got from a bulb or any luminous source is luminous intensity. If I take a bulb of 100 watt and if I consider a bulb of 1000 watt, then the intensity of light coming from that 1000 watt bulb is greater than that of 100 watt bulb. That intensity of light is basically luminous intensity that we measure in candle. Yes, Shafat, clear? Okay, thank you, sir. Next, see, luminous intensity. Ah, no, Abdullah, luminous intensity doesn't mean heat. It's not energy. Luminous intensity is just intensity of light. You can relate heat with luminous intensity. You can relate temperature with luminous intensity. But heat, temperature and luminous intensity are three different ones. Like you can connect temperature and heat, right? Whenever you provide heat to a body, its temperature rise, but heat and temperature are two different quantities in the same way. That heat and luminous intensities are two different quantities, two different, two separate quantities. The next are supplementary quantities. These supplementary quantities are not fundamental physical quantities. Neither we can say that they are derived. They are neither fundamental nor derived. That's why we call them as supplementary quantities. They are not derived. You can't derive these quantities directly from fundamental. You cannot derive these supplementary quantities directly from fundamental quantities. So they are not derived. They are supplementary. They are just two supplementary quantities. The one is angle. We call this as plane angle. We represent plane angle by theta. And its SI unit is radian. The angle that you have studied up to class 10, the angle of 30 degree, 40 degree, that's some supplementary quantity that we represented by theta and measure in radian. Degree is not the SI unit. The SI unit of angle is radian. After plane angle, the next is solid angle. Which we represent by omega. See, solid angle is basically a three-dimensional angle. It's a three-dimensional angle which is known as solid angle. And we measure solid angle in steroid. Yes, omega. We represent it by omega. And we measure this solid angle in steroid. So these are seven fundamental and two supplementary. Always remember these seven fundamental quantities as letters of any language. Just like letters. So, so is steroid. Yes, steroidium. Yes, Rashad. So is steroidium the uh, SI unit of solid angle? Yes, SI unit of solid angle. Solid angle is basically a three-dimensional angle. One example of solid angle is that of cone. Cone is a three-dimensional figure. So this base of the cone subtends a three-dimensional angle at the vertex. This three-dimensional angle is basically a solid angle. Three-dimensional angle that we measure in steroid. It's not radian. So, luminous intensity which is the represent card uh, Luminous intensity ko L se. But L se to length ko bhi kar rahe, to confuse nahi ho chayenge. Nain, nain. Alag alag context mein aata hai. Jab luminous intensity aayega to length nahi aayega. Or electric current? Electric current by I. By I or capital. Either I or capital. Thank you. Sir, sir, ye solid angle to cone ke usme ho ke, or sir, plane angle mein normal triangle type rehta hai. I mean, sorry. it's a normal two dimensional angle. Normal two dimensional angle. This one. A bilkul triangle ki tarah rehta hai. Jind angle aapne aaj tak padhe hai, they are two dimensional angle. But this solid angle is a three dimensional angle. Ye kuch naya hai. Ye to plane angle wahi hai, jo class 10 tak aap padhte ho. Okay. So Fazil, Noor, Fatma, is it clear? Up to this fundamental and this supplementary quantities? Yes, sir. Okay. No doubt. No doubt. Okay. Now I have some doubts. Noor, why we represent this uh, kilogram with a small k, meter with a small m, seconds with a small s, 
but we represent Calvin with a capital K, Ampere with a capital A, Candela with a capital C. Why we consider sir. it with small letters and other with capital letters? No. Sir, because these SI units, Kelvin, Ampere, have been named after scientists, so they're in capital letters. Okay, okay. Yes, so. Sir, because wo mass me jaise capital M use ho chuka hai, no, or no. temperature me capital K. Mm -hmm. Sorry, temperature. No, no. Quantities which are based on the name of scientist starts with a capital letter. Otherwise, they start with a small letter. Calvin is the name of a scientist. That's why this is capital A. But meter is not name of anyone. That's why it starts with small. Ampere is the name of a scientist. That's why it starts with capital A. But seconds is, is, is name of, is not name of any scientist. Starts with small. So units which starts with the name of a scientist that start with a capital A. So, uh, a solid angle is which is made in a 3D figure. 3D figure. In case of spheres, hemisphere, cone. You won't use uh, this three-dimensional angle in class 11. You will use this in class 12 only. There's no or a single numerical in class 11 slippers based in solid angle. So, shall I rub it? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, let's curve the top. The next are derived physical quantities. Derived physical quantities. Derived physical quantities. So, derived quantities are those quantities which cannot be expressed in terms of which can be derived from fundamental physical quantities. So, derived quantities are quantities are quantities that can be expressed that can be expressed in terms of of fundamental in terms of fundamental physical quantities. So quantities that can be expressed in terms of fundamental physical quantities are known as derived quantities. So each and every quantity in physics else than those seven fundamental and two supplementary. If you leave those nine quantities, then every quantity is derived. Like energy is derived, velocity is derived, force is derived, magnetic field, resistance, voltage, EMF, these all are derived quantities. So the list is endless. Like force is derived, energy is a derived quantity, resistance is a derived quantity. So all quantities, else than those nine quantities are fundamental. Now, after derived quantity, the next topic is, okay, just, just note it down. I need some space for the next topic. Done, sir. Yeah. So, uh, electric current ka to humare paas uh, formula bhi hota hai, to matlab wo fundamental kaise hai, iska matlab wo samajh nahi aya, to kuli chikan ka jay se. Because these quantities are fundamental, it doesn't mean that. So the formula of current is Q by time. You even have formula for length. You can even write your length as velocity multiplied by time. You yes, sir. Mass. So mass is force upon its uh, acceleration. This is mass. So these quantities are not fundamental due to any formula. 
these are fundamental by the way they are measured the way we measure these quantities will decide whether these quantities are fundamental or not so when we measure experimentally measure this mass or current or length then that measurement will decide yes, sir to all the quantities ko kyun nahi matlab fundamental rakha matlab kyun nahi step se measure kiya gaya jaise in seven ko kiya hai uh rahe dekho tumhe aisa set nahi milega kahin mlt i k इन सब को एक दूसरे से डिराइव नहीं कर सकते इसी भी तरह ये सेट इंपॉर्टेंट है यू कान डिराइव मास यूजिंग एनी ऑफ द फंडामेंटल क्वांटिटी इफ इंस्टेड ऑफ करंट लेट्स से आई रिमूव करंट और मैं कुछ और यूज कर लू आई कम से रेजिस्टेंस तो ये पॉसिबल हो सकता है कि मैं इन सब को कंबाइन करके रेजिस्टेंस बना दू बट ये जो सेट है इसलिए स्पेशल है कि यू कान डिराइव एनी ऑफ दिस क्वांटिटी बाई कम्बाइनिंग दिमेनिंग That's why they are fundamental. This set is really fundamental. This is an important set. Uh, so what are you written there? L is equal to V into T. Distance is V into T. So what is L? Length. Length is velocity into T. Thank you, sir. The next is dimension. Dimensional formula. dimension dimensional formula and dimensional equation dimension dimensional formula and dimensional equation so see you can express all derived quantities in terms of fundamental physical quantities when you express derived quantities in terms of fundamental then you came across these terms like dimension dimensional formula and dimensional equation we came across dimension dimensional formula and dimensional equation when we tried these quantities into fundamental let's start with a very basic example like area you can write area as the product of length and breadth now when we say length is fundamental this is generic generic in the sense when you are saying length is fundamental then every quantity that you measure in meter is length for you length is length even breadth is length for you even height is length for you even radius diameter thickness distance displacement everything is length this is generic like length is length even breadth is your length so can i write this as length multiplied by length length into length yes sir yes sir when i say length is fundamental that means a generic length length breadth height all are length length into length so we can just write this as its length square so area is simply length square so you can say that area is is l square a is l square you can even write this area as see area does not depends upon mass it's independent of mass so i can easily write this as this is m to the power 0 m to the power 0 l square it's independent of time so you can write this as t to the power 0 these are two notations in which you can write dimensions of any so what is m m l is length because m is mass and sir m m m mass m stands for mass okay these brackets that i am using are just a convention they just convention every author use this notation that's why i am writing it there is no harm if you just remove this bracket that won't affect physics in any way these brackets are just notations nothing it is convention so, so agar curve bracket laga di humne to curve bracket it's fine mere liye to koi problem nahi hai but books ke sath match nahi karega to maybe aapke school teacher problem create kare अदरवाइज जस्ट अ कन्वेंशन आपकी मर्जी आप कैसे भी ब्रैकेट लगाओ ना भी लगाओ डजेंट मैटर कुछ बुक्स में नहीं मिलेगा बट एनसीआर स्क्वायर ब्रैकेट 
So it's better if you use these square brackets. Now this power of two, this power of length that we are using, this power two is dimension. This power of length that we are using is dimension. This L square, like fundamental quantity raised to its power, this is known as dimensional formula. This is dimensional formula. Similarly, if I write this a equal to L square, then this is an equation derived quantity equal to dimensional formula. This is an equation. Dimension is dimensional equation. This is known as dimensional equation. This is dimensional equation. Let's take one more example. Another example. Instead of area, let's start with volume. So the formula of volume is its length into breadth into height. Into height. Noor, can I consider breadth and height as just length? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you. Breadth and height can be considered as length. So I can write this as its length multiplied by length multiplied by length it's length into length into length so we can just write this as length cube so v is length cube or we can write this as l cube v is l cube so Fatima Sharif, what is dimension here? What is dimension of volume? M raised to zero. No, no. Dimension three. three. The dimension of volume is three. What about dimension formula, Fatima? L cube. L cube, right. L cube is dimensional formula. dimensional formula and what about dimensional equation v is equal to l cube v equal to l cube is dimensional equation or you can even write this as v is m0 l cube t0 there's another notation but I will always prefer this one. Sir, we right. use to, matlab ye L square or L cube. We use this. 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 We Okay, just note it down. Abdul will come to every quantity. Abdul, Abdul. Yes, sir. We will come to every quantity one by one. So, shall I rub it, Janvi? Yes, sir. No, sir. Okay. Now this unit number one is the easiest unit of your status. This dimension, error, measurement of length, mass and time. These are the easiest portion of the status. And so which one is the toughest? From chapter number three onwards. Like three, four. The toughest is basically chapter number seven. The seventh includes all. The chapter number seven includes all chapters from three to six. That's why it seems quite tough. Otherwise, on difficulty scale, three, four, five, all are almost the same. Abdullah, seventh is rotation. So, shall I rub it? 
Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Just one more example. Say, let's take with density. When we write density, density is the ratio of mass and volume. We, rep we represent density by rho. We represent mass with m1 and we represent volume with m2. So you can just write this as it's m1 l minus. So the density is simply it's m1 l minus 3. This is the dimension. So rho, rho Abdullah, Abdullah, rho, rho is the representation of density. So here 1, comma minus 3, these are the dimensions of density. So here the dimensions are 1, comma minus 3. Not, don't just subtract them. We don't subtract dimensions or add dimensions. We write them separately. Like 1, comma minus 3 are the dimensions of density. Similarly, if you write this as M1 L minus 3, this is dimensional formula. This is dimensional formula. And if you could write this as rho is M1 L minus 3, then this is dimensional equation. Just note it down. Done, sir. Written. Shall rub it? Yes, sir. Okay. Sir? Yes. Sir, we use the resistivity to denote the current. Yes, resistivity is current electricity. Here is the density. Okay, sir. Okay, let's rub it. Now, for solving numericals of dimensional analysis, you need to remember dimensions of some quantities. So I'm just making a list of important quantities. You will need dimensions of these quantities to solve numericals of dimensional analysis. So this list will have almost around 20 quantities, around 20 quantities, but you will need these quantities to solve numericals without Memorizing dimensions of these quantities will be tough to solve numerical. You won't be able to solve numerical without these quantities. So the serial number, physical quantity. So I wanted to ask that in the previous example, why did you write rho? Because rho represents density. Okay, sir. So quantity, formula, dimensional formula. Dimensional formula. SI unit and CGs. So serial number, physical quantity, the formula of physical quantity, the next is dimensional formula. Then SI unit and then CGS. SI and then CGS. We will have almost 20 quantities in the list. All 20 quantities are important. The first quantity is distance or displacement. Distance or displacement. Although distance and displacement are different quantities, 
distance is a scalar it doesn't have direction while displacement have direction but as far as dimensions are concerned we consider both distance and displacement as same quantity so distance and displacement both are length so we don't need any formula to write dimension dimensional formula is l1 the si unit is meter cgs unit is centimeter this is si and cgs unit of distance or displacement the second quantity is speed or velocity again there is difference between speed and velocity speed is a scalar it doesn't have direction but velocity is a vector it do have direction but we can consider both speed and velocity as a single quantity for dimensional analysis dimensions does not depends upon direction so the formula of speed is its distance over time that speed and velocity is displacement over time velocity is displacement over time now as far as dimensions are concerned both distance and displacement are length so when we write dimensions this is l1 over t1 distance is length time is t1 so the combined dimensions are l1 t minus again when we write unit its unit of distance divided by unit of time distance of unit is meter distance of time is second so the combined unit is meter per second if you write cgs so instead of meter we will use centimeter instead of seconds we will use the si and cgs unit of time both are seconds so that centimeter per second say third one the third is acceleration We represent velocity by v. We represent acceleration with small a. Acceleration is just the ratio of change in velocity. It's just the ratio of change in velocity over time. Change in velocity by time. Puzzle. What should be the dimensions of acceleration? What should be the next step? Puzzle. Uh, and and. the dimensions just just tell me the dimensions of velocity velocity and change in velocity will have same dimension puzzle so what should be the unit of velocity meter per second unit uh, dimensions dimension formula okay um, lt minus 1 yeah dimension formula l1 t minus 1 and what about time t t so the combined lt minus 2 l what about the unit uh, meter per second square yeah so the unit is meter per second divided by seconds so it would be meter per second square so it's meter per second square what about the cgs centimeter, centimeter. per second centimeter per second square okay the fourth quantity after acceleration the next quantity sir, yes sir yes. please acceleration wala repeat kar dijiye are you acceleration is the ratio of change in velocity and time the change in velocity is represented by delta v delta represent change that means delta v time is delta v when we write dimensions change in velocity the dimensional formula is l1 t minus 1 the dimensional formula for time is t1 so the combined is l1 t minus 1 by minus 1 so gets subtract out so minus 1 minus 1 is minus 2 should be like t minus 1 minus 2. when you divide two quantities then dimensions get subtracted so l1 t minus that's a unit is meter per second by second that's meter per second square and cgs is simply centimeter per second yes sir eva Clear? Thank you, sir. Yes, sir. Now, after acceleration, the next quantity is momentum. The next is momentum. We represent momentum with p. Momentum is simply the product of mass and velocity. 
हमदा डायमेंशनल फॉर्मूल ऑफ मोमेंटम मास के लिए केजी डायमेंशनल फॉर्मूला नॉट यूनिट सर एम एम वन और वेलोसिटी के लिए एल वन टी माइनस वेलोसिटीज एल वन टी माइनस मास इज एम वन वेलोसिटी इज एल वन टी माइनस सो व्हेन यू कंबाइन देम दिस इज एम वन L1 T minus one. This is moment. And what about the unit? Kg um, meter per second. Newton meter. No sir. You do not. Mass, mass, mass. Mass is kg. Velocity. Velocity is meter per second. So the SI unit is meter per second. CGS. Gram, gram, gram. Yes. Centimeter per second. Instead of gram, we use kilogram. We use gram. Instead of meter, we use centimeter. So that is the series. Okay, just note it down. Yes, Abdullah. That's your choice, Abdul. You can represent gram either by g or by g. That's your choice. Done, sir. Okay. Shall I rub it? Yes, sir. Okay. Noor, Fazal, Fatma, Ariba. Sir, I'm Lina. I'm sorry. I'm guilty. Sir, name change. I can't. Okay. So. Okay, the fifth quantity is force. So, Fatima, what's the unit of the formula of force? Fatima Sharif, what is the formula of force? No idea. So the formula of force is mass multiplied by acceleration. Formula of our force is mass into acceleration. Okay, Fatima, just try the dimensional formula of this force. Fatima Sharif, try the dimensional formula of force. Yes, Fatima. M one. Yes, mass is M one, right? And L one. Okay. T raised to minus two. Yes. T minus two. Yes, 
mass is l1 and acceleration is l1 l1 t minus 2 so when we combine them this is m1 l1, l1 t minus 2 what about the si unit m newton newton right uh, detail unit it's kg acceleration mm -hmm. is per second square so this kg meter per second square could be written as newton in one line you can write this as newton so this is the detail unit and this whole thing can be written just as newton so what about the cgs one cgs unit So gram centimeter. Yeah, gram. Centimeter of uh, second minus s minus two. This we call dyne. Dyne is the CGS unit. After force, the next quantity is pressure. We represent pressure with capital P, and pressure is just the ratio of force and area. So the force is. M one, L one, T minus two over area, where area is L square. So the combined will be it's M one L. When you are dividing L one by L square, so that's L one minus two, T to the power minus two. So that's M one L minus one T minus. So that is the dimensional formula for pressure. It's m one l minus one t minus. The si unit of pressure is force upon area. So it's newton divided by meter square. So this is newton per meter square. We can call this as Pascal. If we consider cgs, then instead of newton, we will use dyne. This is dyne. Per centimeter square. That's nine per centimeter square. That's it. After pressure, the next is. So, so please repeat it. Okay. Pressure is the ratio of force and area. Force is m one l one t minus two. This in point five. This is force. I use the same dimension here. Divided by area, which is l square. So when you divide force by area, then this is m one. It's L to the power. It's one into just subtract one into so it's one minus two. Then this is T to the power minus. Two. So this is simply M one L minus one T to the power minus. Two. So that's pressure M one L one L minus one T minus. Two. Clear up to this point? Yes. Sir. Yes. Dying का कोई symbol नहीं है फिर already ये ऐसे ही लिखते हैं तो symbol है ये. तो symbol है ऐसे. Okay sir. Now, if we consider unit, then this is force is newton, area is meter square, so that's newton by meter square, so it's newton per meter square, and this newton per meter square could be written as Pascal. When you take CGS instead of newton, we consider dyne. Instead of per meter square, we write per centimeter square. The next force is work done. The next is work done. Work done is simply The product of force and displacement. Janvi, what should be the unit of work done? Dimensional formula. Janvi. So m one l two t to the power minus two. M one. Okay, good. So force is just m one l one t minus two. Here displacement is l one. Combined is. M one L square T minus. So this is the combined unit of work done. Work done is force multiplied by displacement. Force is simply M one L one T minus two multiplied by displacement, which is L one. So the combined is M one L square T minus. So the SI unit, if we consider unit, so detailed unit of force is kg. i'm just writing these detailed units because you will need these units in some numericals of uh, ncert even for solving ncert you will need detailed unit unit of force you may need detailed unit of this work that's why i'm writing these detailed unit so detailed unit of force is 
force is this kg meter per second square so the detailed unit of force is kg meter per second square multiplied by that of displacement displacement is meter so the combined is kg meter square per second square and in one line we call this as joule so this is joule kg meter square per second square similarly you can write cgs unit instead of kg you can use gram meter square you can use centimeter square per second square or instead of joule we will use earth so cgs unit of energy is earth not joule any doubt in these three quantities force pressure and work done any doubt in these three quantities force pressure work done in dimensions or in sir units? sir are we going to use the dimensional formula in the book ahead or only in this chapter uh we will use dimensional formula only in this chapter but you so so we have to learn them yes you have to remember so what is the si unit of work done there kg meter or kg yeah. meter square per second square kg meter square per second square it's true सर आपने सीजीएस में लास्ट में ब्रैकेट में क्या लिखा है और ई आर जी और ओके सर थैंक यू ई आर जी यस अब्दुल्ला बताइए so shall i rub it yes sir yes sir yes sir okay after this work done the next quantity is power this would be 10th na 10th quantity so 8 8 okay. this is 8th so the 8th quantity here is power the formula of power is it's work done over time this is the formula of power calculate its dimensions and report your answer in chat room just calculate the dimensions of power and report your answer in chat room calculate dimensional formula of power it simply work done over time rehab right sania okay sania is correct janvi correct fazil is correct noor correct dulla aslam yes correct so almost all are doing right what about the rest yes mubashira fatma it's correct shafaq it's correct right yes it's work done over time so the work done is simply m1 l square t minus 2 right over time 
T1. So this is simply M1 L square T minus 2. So if we divide T to the power minus 2 by T1, that comes out to be T to the power minus 3. So here the psi unit is work done is joule time in second. So that is joule per seconds. Yes, joule per second could be written as what? Yes, Sanya, what is correct? Next, you can write CGS unit as arc. CGS unit of work done is arc divided by time. So that's arc per second. Instead of joule, you can use all that is a second. That is a series. Now, after power, just remember this sentence that work done, work done, and all types of energies, all types of energies. have same dimension so work done and all types of energies have exactly same dimension so the dimensions of kinetic energy potential energy heat energy sound energy is same as that of work done. not just kinetic energy abdullah even potential energy heat energy light energy the dimensional formula of each energy is same as that of work that is m1 l square t minus so all types of energies have same dimensions as that of work now after power okay for solve some some numericals based on these eight quantities then we will come back to this list let's do some numericals which are based on these eight quantities and we'll come back to this so shall rob it up to the dimension yes sir yes sir yes sir yes sir so i'm rubbing it so the first question of the series So in the very first question, you will realize realize why you need that list. So the first question is, this is this expression is given. F is G M one M two over R square. Here F is force. M one and M two are masses. R is the separation between masses. Calculate dimensions of G. Calculate dimensions of G. You need dimensions of universal gravitation force. So, this G here could be written as G is F R square over M one M two. So G is F R square divided by M one M. Just cross multiply this R one R two and M one M two. And and now just start writing dimensions of every quantity. The dimensions of forces M one L one T minus two. The dimension of this R length is L one. So this is length square. M one and M two both are masses. The dimensions of M one is M one and M two is again M. So G is it's M one, L one, T minus two, multiplied by L square, divided by M square. So the G is it's M one by M square. So this is M to the power one minus two. It's L one into L square. So that's L to the power one plus two. Then this is T to the power minus. So, what do you mean by R? R is length of separation, separation between two masses, which is length. R is length, this is. So, the unit of dimension formula of G is m minus one l cube t minus. 
So this is the dimensional formula for universal gravitational constants. M minus one, it's L cube T minus. So is this example clear? Because next numerical is based on this one. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. No doubt. Yes, sir. Okay. Then solve this numerical. If you don't have in this doubt in this numerical, then solve this one. Force is eta a. Here F is force, A is area, dV is change in velocity, dV is change in velocity, dx is change in position, position is length. <laughs> dx is change in position. Change in position is basically length. Calculate dimensions of coefficient of viscosity coefficient of viscosity eta. Okay, solve this numerical. Report your answer in chat room. Sir, F ke baad aapne kya likha hai? Eta. This this symbol is known as eta. It's eta. The name of this symbol is eta. The Greek symbol eta. F is force, A area, dV change in velocity, dx change in position. I need dimensions of this eta, coefficient of this force. Solve it. Okay, Rehab. Rehab, just a second, let me calculate first. Huh? So it's F. Yes, Rehab Khan got the right answer. Noor is correct. Abdullah Slum is wrong. Abdullah, just check your calculations once more. And what about the rest? The three answers. Sania Fatma is correct. Fazil is correct. Alina is correct. Rashad is correct. Now, Abdullah, you are correct. Padma, Janvi, Hamda. Sir, one minute. No. Shafak. Yes, Fatima, correct. M1 is minus 1, T minus 2. Walia, Hamda. Hamda, it won't be T to the power minus 3. It would be T to the power minus 2. Minus 1. Just take your calculations. You're making mistakes in subtraction. Yes, sir. I guess I am. 
you see you can write eta as eta is f over a dx over dv so eta okay yes and it's right it's correct so it's m1 l minus 1 t minus 1 M one L one T minus two. B X is length, which is L one. A is area, which is L square. D V is velocity, which is L one T minus. So here, this L one will cancel this L one. This L one will simply cancel this L one. And we are left with its M one. It's l to the power one by l square, so that's l to the power one minus two. It's two to t to the power minus two plus one. So the coefficient of viscosity is it's m one, l minus one t minus. So this is coefficient of viscosity m one l minus one t minus. So almost all were correct. If you have written up to this numerical, I should rub it. Okay. Thanks, sir. For other numericals, we need the same unit. We need dimension formula of some more quantities. So the list was up to last quantity was eighth or ninth. So eight, eight, eight. Ninth quantity. The ninth is angular displacement. Ninth is angular displacement. So the angular displacement is just an angle. It's an angle. And the definition of angle is angle is length of arc. Divided by the radius of arc. This is the definition of angle. It's length of arc divided by radius of arc. So angular displacement is just an angle. Say you have this arc. This is the center of arc. The length of this arc is L. The radius of this arc is R, and this is angle theta. So the definition of angle is angle is simply the length of arc divided by the radius. L upon R. L upon R. Next, when we write dimensional formula, then length of arc is length. Radius is again length, so it's length over length. So they get cancelled out simply L zero. So you can say that your angle is dimensionless. So angle is dimensionless. It doesn't have any any dimension. The next is the psi unit of angle, which is radian. The psi unit is radian. There is no CGS unit of angle, so I'm not writing CGS unit here. There is no CGS unit of angle, so I'm not writing any CGS here. The next is tenth quantity. The next is angular velocity. The next is angular velocity. We represent angular velocity by omega. Angular velocity is just the ratio of angular displacement. It's just the ratio of angular displacement and time. See, angular displacement is dimensionless, so that's L zero. The dimensions of time is t one. So the combined is L zero T minus. If we write unit, puzzle. What should be the unit of this angular velocity? Puzzle SI unit. Radian okay. per second. Angle radian. Time is seconds. So the combined will be radian per second. No C. So, yes. Uh, sir, can't the di dimension be simply t minus one? 
yeah, dimension would be simply t minus one. L zero t minus one, or just simply t minus. One. Unit is radian per second. There is no CGS unit of angle. There is no CGS unit of angular space or angular velocity. After angular velocity, there are few more quantities like angular acceleration, torque, moment of inertia. I will send you a PDF document. A very detailed list of few quantities. I, I I just can't write dimensions of each and every quantity. Otherwise, this is a very lengthy. It will take four to five hours just to write dimensions. My aim is just to write the minimum number of dimensions, minimum number of important dimensions. So these ten, twelve quantities are important for writing dimensions. After angular velocity, the next is strength, strain. When we write strain, strain is the ratio of change in configuration, ratio of change in configuration divided by original configuration. The ratio of change in configuration and original configuration is known as strain. When we write configuration, it could be anything. It could be length. It could be area. It could be volume. So this is just length by length. Can you guess the dimensions of this quantity if it is length by length? Zero. Zero. L zero. 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 Zero.
types of energies the cgs unit is earth but for particularly for heat energy the cgs unit is kelvin after heat energy the next is temperature see temperature is a fundamental quantity it's fundamental you don't need formula for temperature the dimensional formula is simply theta 1 or it's simply k1 this is the dimensional formula of temperature theta 1 or k if you write unit then the psi unit is kelvin and the cgs unit of temperature is celsius celsius after temperature the next quantity is like specific heat we represent specific heat with capital smallest the formula is delta q. we represent heat with delta q we usually represent heat with capital delta q so delta q is ms delta t so delta q is heat this m is mass this delta t is temperature from this expression we can write s as delta q over m delta t write down its dimensional formula its si unit and its cgs unit so what is s in this uh, formula s is specific heat s is specific heat so they have no not the so so q is equal to ms so is it mass or m s is different as is different? s is specific m is mass s is specific okay okay so rehab vishwan so aapne kaha kelvin aur calorie kuch bata rahe the the si unit of all energies is joule including heat energy but the cgs unit of all energies is alg except heat energy which is kelvin so except heat energy cgs unit of every type of energy is alg only the cgs unit of heat energy is kelvin okay sir thank you sir just calculate the dimensional formula of specific heat and report your answer in chat room specific heat dimensional formula of specific heat So Abdullah, what L square T minus two K minus one. Okay. Yes, Abdullah is correct. Alina is correct. Noor is correct. Yes, Sania, you are correct. Sania, Fatma. Rashad, you are missing temperature. Here, delta T is temperature, not time. Yes, Fatima, you are correct. Fatima Sharif, you are correct. This is pretty straightforward, ah. Huh? So S is yes, Fazil, you are correct. Delta Q over m delta T. So delta Q is m one l square t minus two. M is mass, which is m one. Delta T is temperature, which is Kelvin. so the combined is it's m0 l square t minus 2 k minus 2 now you can just leave this m you can just write this as l square sir what is that delta theta delta theta is heat it's delta q basically that is for heat we represent okay, delta q now if we write units 
then the unit is it's delta q by m delta t delta q s i unit of delta q is joule divided by mass which is kg delta t is temperature which is kelvin so the combined unit is joule per kg per kelvin if we write cgs unit then instead of joule you can use earth instead of kg we can write gram instead of kelvin we can write celsius so it's r per gram per degree celsius that is the cgs oh, sorry not r it will be calorie it's heat now cgs is calorie per gram per degree celsius सर वॉट यू हैव रिटर्न इन दीजीआई cgs it's calorie per gram per degree celsius calorie per gram per degree celsius i'm just leaving rashad leaving in 2 minutes it's calorie per gram per degree celsius so what's your name azam okay sir so i've written yes sir yes sir yes sir, yes, sir. let's stop here uh, the next class is on saturday next saturday at the same time i will try to manage one more class in weekdays maybe on wednesday and tuesday i will inform you the timings accordingly but officially the next class is on saturday and sunday only the timings are same the same time if i could keep a class so, on saturday we have class test of school at what time at what time sir this time only this time only so we will we'll try to manage the timing for you saturday sunday dono hai na i mean dono din dono din dono okay let's stop here we'll continue next week on saturday Thank you, sir. 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 Thank you, sir.